All right, hello. Hello. It's us again. <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> I'm sure everybody loves seeing this. <laughs> All right. So last time we start talk about a lot about self trust. Now, how do we build trust within the whole community? And I have a few ideas that I want to share、um, about you know how to build trust with each other now.、Um, and、uh, these are some of my ideas. Number one, let me go back to my crazy map. So we have already, if you haven't joined already, and we haven't invited you to join already, a online community. Since everything is online now, why not? You know what I mean.、Um, whether you're, you know, you believe in social media or not,、um, this is on something called the Mighty Network. Where、um, it's kind of like a Facebook page kind of thing, where we share a lot of our information, what's going on,、um, events that are coming up, you know, workshops, and we want to build that like、um, community where everybody can can get connected, no matter where you are in the world, no matter you know、um, what your like like you know conditions and stuff like that. So that everybody can just get connected and just stays in the loop of what's going on with Cafe Cadenza. Yeah, exactly. It's a, so it's an invite only, like private network, and that way we can kind of just keep track of each other and know what we're all up to. And and then、yeah. eventually we want to build up to a point where we could like do like workshops, you know,、um, courses, courses have like healthy like.、Um, A、recipe post on there. Anything that can help the community grow, and、um, individually and as a collective. Yeah, it's gonna serve as like a hub for、uh, even sharing what businesses or services members have to offer.、Um, that way, we're advertising for each other.、Um, what else we got? We've got <clears throat>、uh, events. That way, we keep everybody in the loop of what's gonna happen, and then. Just kind of pooling our resources together, like it's leading up to the, it's making space at least for the economics portion where we start to say like, hey, maybe I have land available. Hey, maybe I have a boat available for a project or whatever it is. It's just share, just like, kind of information. A, yeah, and just keeping things within the community, and hopefully we engage more on this social media platform rather than the other ones because, you know, we're kind of committed to the dream and building that. Yeah, and, and that's kind of how I want to live. Sounds good. Number two, so we're going to go from like outside to like more in core group, kind of like a, yeah, no. So the next, next, next things we want to do is do more events. So this is where we want feedback. What kind of events do you think can help? So we we thought of a bunch of them. So we will have like you know board game nights, board game competition if we can, karaoke nights, um, open mic. We'll do us、um, uh, paint nights, you know, musical events, a bunch of them that we we would like to gather people together just so that we could see who we truly are in a non, you know, business or non just like authentic self, like non you know, community settings kind of thing. Have when we have fun. That's、exactly. when we're. That's when we're the most fun self. You know? Yeah, we don't want it to be to feel like. You go through this interview process. Yeah. You know, it's you can't just sit down and be like, okay, how can I trust you? And then you answer <laughs> directly. It's gonna we're gonna have to just engage with each other because we signal so many things even just with our body language and our vibe,、uh, the way we we want to just see people their more authentic selves in a natural environment, and that way you have a better gauge of how、uh, how alike you are. Or How you can work together, and as we do projects together, we're gonna have to learn to work together. Yeah, we'll start to see parts of people come out, and then also learning how we deal with、uh, times where maybe we have conflicts. And obviously, we want to work with people where we can resolve conflicts、uh, with a lot more ease and grace, rather than you know it being some kind of aggressive or confrontational situation. So therefore, remember next time you come over and play Catan, we are judging you. No, <laughs> <laughs> you got the panda who's watching you. <laughs> you have to beat the panda Catan to make it to make it into Cafe Catan. That's what I'm like, God. So, 
And then number three, again, we're going deeper and deeper as we go, is do business or just any project together. And I think that is the ultimate test. Like, you know. So rather, is it building a communal um, uh, uh, garden or actually owning business together and running it together? Um, I remember when. You know, when I was young, I loved being in、um, musical or play productions because you get that like group vibe and high, and everybody is so like, you know, put all their energy into this one goal and one thing, and you really see how people come out pretty much. You know, when you work with each other, oh my god, all the ugliness comes out, <laughs> or all the good things. You know what I mean? But I'd rather see that. Early on, exactly. Then later down the road, you know. Yeah, yeah. You kind of see. Again, I'm judging you. <laughs> I don't think it's judgment. Observe. Sorry, I shouldn't use the word to judge. Observation. 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 Yeah. Because judgment, you're placing this emphasis on whether or not they're good or bad. Whereas, you know, no observation, it's just this is a behavior. It's the truth, and you can't deny it. We don't have to. It's all about how you treat people. So, are we good people if we judge you and then treat you horribly? Like that's、yeah. that's not the way we want to be. There's no good and bad in having that, and there's only love or fear. Yeah, <laughs> essentially. Exactly. And then lastly, when we get to the very deep level, we're gonna do co-housing. So co-housing. I mean, I understand this option is not for everybody. This is for like the core group mainly, right? If you want, really want to be in the Cafe Cadenza, we're thinking of you know when we talk about memberships or, or or things like that later on in our other videos, we want to express the the there, there's three levels of membership, and this is for more for core people, where we really want to know you, and you cannot know somebody until you live. <laughs> He's talking about me, I think. No, no. <laughs> it's just like you know the everyday little things, how we live. That's gonna show your character, your true self, your true character. Yeah, yeah. it's it's really hard to hide, you know, your true self forever. But you know, in a living situation, it's kind of like, you know, at least in my experience,、um, any time I've got to live with any of my partners. That's when I start learning more about them and really seeing them as they are. So,、uh, are you I, changing the toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, little things like that. And then you also have to ask yourself, like, how bothered are you by certain things? And it's it's not just a they do this and they do that. It's well, what do I do? Or what are they pointing out that I do or don't do? And and I think learning how to live and be with each other. Even during hard times, is going to make us more once again resilient.、Uh, really forming that trust because we're. This is more than a membership. Like when you're at the core, it's really going to start to be more like family. It's kind of like the family that we're choosing、um, because we're on this mission together. And, and yeah, so the co-housing is definitely not like on most people's priority list, but I think it's important for the core group to learn how to to live to co-house. Yeah, I think like. I think a lot of people's like、um, vision of co-housing is oh we have to live together kind of thing.、Um, it's just more like how do we?、Um, it I I feel like it doesn't even need to be like live live together like all the time kind of thing. Like come over for a weekend, you know, or or something like that. Or like even if let's imagine we we purchased an apartment complex、mm -hmm. and it had eight different. Uh, apartments.、Mm -hmm. So then you have eight different core members having their own individual suite. But then you know we have a communal kitchen or communal gallery place that we can hang out at.、Um, or maybe it's not one building. Maybe some people live in the main building, and then maybe some people have nearby like tiny、dwellings. houses or dwellings that you're staying in.、Yeah. But in the end, we're still we have to still learn to live and function with each other. But obviously, you know when you're in a group of people that. Like love and respect you. If you ask for solitude time, like there's no problem with that. Yeah.、Um, but at the same time, too, I think the community helps hold you accountable. So let's say you're taking 
a lot of solitude time. Maybe that's a signal, hey, maybe something, maybe Minnie's upset with something, maybe we should go check her out. And I think that's, the community will kind of respond to the needs uh, of the individual. And that's, and that's that's the way to build pretty much trust again, you know. And, uh, yeah, so we want to know your feedback again um, on the events we can have, um, and other things that that can build trust within the cafe cadenza community so do leave things in the comment below well i maybe give them something specific in the comments i was kind of thinking um what kind of events like, do you want or no or because the last one was on how do you trust yourself so maybe this one is how do you build trust with others so maybe you have examples of other ways that you, you've built trust with other people and then we can incorporate that somehow into like a particular event or just add another item down here so i think that would be good feedback trust building let's do zip lining together kind of event. sure i don't know or like <laughs> let's bungee jump together <laughs> skydive together <laughs> throw, throw you out the airplane throw you out airplane yeah no thank you <laughs> we're not trying to kill anybody <laughs> But yeah. All right. Thank you. Have a great time.